What I'm showing here is an underrated feature called Samsung Flow. I'm showing this because when we publish the video about how to live stream your content via your phone on OBS, I was surprised because a lot of commenters on that video were actually teachers. And recently, I discovered a way that you can skip all of the dongles, capture cards, and cables. All you need is just one cable directly from your computer to your phone or no cables at all. But what's the catch? Yes, there is a catch. And the catch is that this whole Samsung Flow feature will only work with Samsung devices and Windows 10 PCs. But it's free. So just check it out if you have both of these devices with you. And this whole video might look like an ad for Samsung devices, but I can assure you, they don't even know that I'm making this kind of content. I'm just here to let teachers around the world know that you can actually just use your device as a teaching tool with your laptop together to further elevate how you can teach students more effectively. So with that out of the way though, let's begin. So to use this feature, we need to download Samsung Flow on both our Samsung device and also our laptop. So I'll start off with the laptop first. So I'll just Google Samsung Flow. It's that simple. Uh, apologies for this weird angle because I want you guys to see the screen as well. But I still have screen capture software running to show you everything. But yeah, just, just forgive me for this weird setup. As you can see here, Samsung Flow. Um, you can connect it like the Windows, your phone utility, so you can get your notifications on your desktop instead of on your phone. But it has a lot more features baked into Samsung Flow. So I'm just gonna skip all of these here and straight to download. So as you can see here, you need to head into the Microsoft Store to download. Press that. It will bring you to the Microsoft Store. Uh, click get then click open this will pop up don't worry it's perfectly fine just click install uh, I need to censor that but okay while Samsung flow is downloading here I'm gonna download it on the phone as well I'm using the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra for reasons I'll go to later but rest assured you can use this for many different Samsung devices out there so install Samsung Flow, now we wait. Okay, now that's done on the phone, I'm just gonna press open and then you can see all of the messages here. It tells me to start Samsung Flow on the desktop or laptop or whatever, launch. And you can see Samsung Flow is here. I'm gonna maximize that. At the bottom right corner here, click start and then it will start searching for your devices that has Samsung Flow in this menu here. So. It instantly detected the Galaxy S21 Ultra that I have here. So I'm just gonna press that. See here you can connect it via Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. They are both working together. If I connect this phone via a cable to this laptop, then it will show up. Yet another option to use cable mode instead. Let me just show you quickly. So USB cable, plug it in. And then plug it into the phone as well. Then you can see Galaxy S21 Ultra on cable mode. I'm not going to use cable mode for this tutorial because I think the wireless mode is much more convenient. So I'll just take out the cable for now. Then I'll click on Wi-Fi Bluetooth mode. Uh, click on Wi-Fi on LAN. And then it will tell you to register your device. It will show you a code here. Just make sure that the code is matching on the phone. Press OK on both sides. And then you're done. Samsung Flow is now connected, but you still need to enable some permissions on the phone. So I'm just gonna do that right now. Go to settings, uh, Samsung Flow where you enable, okay. And there you go, Samsung Flow is now set up. But that's only half of the story because if I go back into the desktop mode and I click this button, Smart View, then it will request me for the casting on my phone. If I just click start now, then it will one-to-one -one mirror everything that's happening on the phone directly on the laptop. 
So I'm just going to maximize this and then click the rotation button so that it rotates as well. Your phone is rotated, the laptop screen is filled in. So I think you can see where this goes now, right? So uh, a few more things that I should mention. You can also click this gear icon to select the resolution to high so you get a better view, better resolution. But it will strain your Wi-Fi connection a bit. So if you are experiencing lag or connection drops, then maybe drop the resolution a little bit. And then you can also select the sound output to come out from the computer or your phone. So let's just say I'm going to play a music on my phone. But if I want to stream the audio that's coming out of whatever app is showing on my phone onto the laptop, then I can just select the sound output to computer and then the audio will come out from the laptop instead. So yeah, you get the idea. But let's get back to the start of the show. So Samsung Flow is now mirrored one to one to the phone here. As you can see, every movement is mirrored directly. But I specifically mentioned that I'm using the Galaxy S21 Ultra here is because of the S Pen support. So let's head into Samsung Notes because what I discovered is that the integration with Samsung Notes is going to be perfect here. So let me move this screen recorder here and I'm going to start doing some simple math equation. So let's start off by changing the color to blue and then the equation sample that I have here is 3y minus 2x equals 6. So I'm just going to do this real quick on the phone. So 3y equals to 6 plus 2x and then y equals to 6 plus 2x over 3. My writing is beautiful. y equals to 2 plus 2 over 3x. That's how simple a teacher can instantly draw equations on the phone, show up on the laptop and then you can just share this screen to your students and your students can see what you're drawing on. Well, it, it kind of acts like a digital whiteboard in this case. Um, okay, let's just continue doing this. y equals to 2 over 3x plus 2. I rewrite this because y equals to mx plus c. Then we can draw a graph y x is just gonna be simple uh, this is your intersection of two oh two over three so it's gonna be <laughs> the gradient it is a bit tricky but the gradient is gonna be two over three i can't draw that now but you can also import a graph paper into samsung notes then just draw on the graph paper for much better visualization and let's just say I'm done with the lesson of the day. I can tap into these three little buttons here. Then save as file. And you can select from a multitude of different files that you can save in. So I personally prefer PDF because it doesn't lower your resolution if you're gonna share this kind of documents with your students via WhatsApp or Telegram or even Facebook Messenger for that matter. So hit that, save as PDF. I'm just gonna save to whatever folder uh, file name sample math question save and there you go it's safe so i can now head back into my phone's folder to find back that document share with my students and they can refer back to this equation that i wrote in a future date but what i've shown here is with the galaxy s21 ultra but you can actually do this with many other Samsung devices as well. For example, the Galaxy A72 that we have here. I tried this as well. It doesn't have S Pen support, but you can still use your fingers to act like the S Pen to draw on Samsung Notes, which works the same as well. You can connect it to Samsung Flow. Then, yeah, just do exactly like what I just showed you on the Galaxy S21 Ultra. But if you have a Samsung tablet, you can do this as well. The lowest price Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 Lite that we reviewed like a month or two ago, even this tablet works with Samsung Flow. This tablet already lags quite a bit, so if you're gonna use Samsung Flow to connect to this kind of setup and then start using Samsung Notes to draw on the screen with your fingers, it's not the best experience ever, but it is doable and it is usable actually. And I also tried Samsung Flow with a bunch of different Samsung devices as well. For example, the Galaxy Note 20, the Galaxy Z Fold 3, and also the Z Flip 3. And I think a bunch of other Samsung devices will work without any issues at all. But if you want to further elevate your teaching experience though, 
you can install physics simulation apps on the phone as well. So you can show all of the apps on your phone and then screen mirror it to your laptop via Samsung Flow and then share your screen to your students to see so that the students can get a better idea of what you're referring to in real time just like when you're going to teach in the classroom right in front of the class. But then you might ask, why not get a drawing tablet instead? Well, I would say, yeah, go on ahead because if you don't have a Samsung device and you want to do it on a low budget, relatively speaking, then you can get a drawing tablet like this. This is the Bamboo, Bamboo Pen CTL460. It's a pretty simple tablet that you can draw on and then everything will be mirrored on the laptop screen as well. Yeah, just do that. I mean, if any teaching material is going to help students learn better in this kind of pandemic situation, then go for it. If you have a drawing tablet like this, then it will replace the S Pen entirely. And then you don't have to do the Samsung Flow thing connection and whatnot. Everything will just happen on the laptop directly and you can just draw on the tablet. So yeah, that's also a valid option. It's just that if you already have a Samsung device, you can use Samsung Flow to elevate the teaching experience if you want to. I'm not forcing you to buy any Samsung devices like what we mentioned earlier in this video. I'm just telling you that such a feature exists and you can use it in such a way. So with that said, that's all I want to share with you about this whole setup. Yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help and I'll see you guys in the next video.